Hello everybody, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. It feels like it's been a long time since I painted with you guys, so I was excited to get back to this today. Um, for those who do, do, not, do not know, um, over the last month we put on a large event in Dallas, Texas and painted with 140 women from 25 different states. And so, because we were getting ready for that and then recovering from that, we pretty much took almost the whole, like, first half of June off and didn't paint live with you guys. But today we're gonna to be painting this cute little knitted looking pumpkin. It's gonna look kind of like it's wrapped in a, a warm sweater. And so um, the reason I'm doing this size, this is about a 12 inch piece. The reason I am chose to do this size is because I already know what door hanger I'm gonna put on my door this fall. It's gonna be this design right here, which is one that we are gonna be teaching in an upcoming workshop and we will start taking signups for this this week uh, we aren't ready just yet for you guys to sign up for it yet so keep an eye on your email in the next couple of days and we will um, make the announcement I'll even probably go live and tell you all about it but I wanted to make a uh, like an attachment for my porch sign that would coordinate with this door hanger so that's why we're doing the 12 inch size so this will be the workshop that we'll be doing and it'll be ten dollars to participate We'll start taking signups for that later this week. So I'll just hang that up there for you guys to admire. <laughs> um, somebody said, is the Procreate class already discounted or do we, do we need a code? I believe it's already discounted. Yes, yes, it's already discounted. So um, in case you have not heard, our Procreate course is on sale this week. Um, it's $20 off. Normally it's $97, but you can get it for just $77 right now. Um, it's going to take you through how to um, use all the buttons. If you have no clue which app to even download, we start there. We start with downloading the app. It's a $10 app. Um, it only works on Apple devices. So if you have like a a tablet or a Kindle Fire, it's not going to work on that. You have to have an, an Apple device for the Procreate course. And then once you download the course, you're going to go and download the app. The app is $9.99 in your app store. Um, you're going to need like an Apple Pencil or at least some sort of a stylus to be able to use, but the Apple Pencil is the best one. Um, and then it's going to walk you through how to use all the buttons. It's going to start you out by teaching you how to color on a coloring sheet, like like a coloring sheet that you just download from Google. Um, and the reason why I started there is because there are a lot of like different ways you can use a lot of the buttons in the app. And doing a coloring sheet is a great way to kind of practice using all the buttons. And it's a skill that you can use going forward on all of your templates for your door hangers. So let's say you had a template for this design and maybe you didn't want to paint it the original color that it was you know, plan to paint. Maybe you wanted to do it with like red or purple or something like that. You could pull up the, the JPEG template of this in your Procreate app and you could drag and drop the colors and, and do shading and practice on the on there as if it's a coloring sheet. So that's why we go through that um, in one of the first modules. Brandy said, I so need this class. I'll go back and get your questions in just a minute. Let me finish explaining. And then in the next step, it's going to teach you how to um, create your own design from scratch. So let's say in your mind you had a concept that you wanted um, a door hanger of, um, well, in the course, what we do is I say, like, let's say we wanted a teacher door hanger with books that were stacked up and a little apple with a worm popping out. So that was what we went through in the course. I show you how to go and grab photographs of stacked books and then like a photograph of an apple and how to pull all that together in Procreate. If you can't draw, like if you're not good at drawing from like just from scratch, you can trace things in a photograph to create the image you want by, you know, kind of like Frankensteining multiple photographs together. And so it's a great way of figuring out how to draw your own templates, even if you really can't draw very well. Um, and so let me think, there was also... There's also a couple of tips and things in there for how to like um, save your work and stuff like that. So it's it's definitely a beginner's course. I have um, ambitions to ramp it up one of these days and add even more into it, but <laughs> I really just have not had the time. So I apologize for that. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be painting this pumpkin. Jessica says, I love this pumpkin. This one's going to look like it's wrapped in a sweater. What questions did I miss? Did I miss any procreate questions? Let's know if the course will help with making tumblers. Um, okay, so can you hear them girls? Those are girls. It's okay, Aaliyah. <laughs> it's okay. I just think it's funny that the girls are the ones who are the loudest in the I house right sure now. There's no blood. <laughs> She's gonna go make sure nobody's bleeding. I think they're just having a blast. 
Um, so if you're doing tumblers and you want to learn to use Procreate, the skills that I'm teaching you in the Procreate course can translate to, to designing tumblers, I would suppose, because the skills that you learn in how to use the app are the same whether you're creating t-shirt designs, sticker designs, door hanger designs, stuff like that. But I do come at it from a door hanger maker's perspective. So just keep that in mind. Pam wants to know, how do you sign up? It's a $97 course right now. You can get $20 off. The link is up in the video description and it's over on my TikTok profile, I believe. Okay, so Tiffany says it's still showing 97, but she's watching on TikTok. So is there a separate link that goes to the sale? The one I sent you. Okay. Tiffany, what you may need to do is hop over to Facebook. I'm on Southern Adornments Decor Facebook page. Oh, it's a different link. It's a different it. link than the one in my TikTok profile. I'll try to go and update that one in my TikTok profile um, later. And then, of course, you can rewatch this video at any time on YouTube later this afternoon. I'll make sure the correct link is in there as well. Okay. Um, where is my headband from? I got this as a gift from somebody at the Southern Adornments Live event, and she said she bought it in the gift shop from um, Aaron Napier. Do you know Aaron and Ben Napier? That TV show, Home, Home, Hometown? Is that what the name of the show is? On HGTV? She has, I guess, a gift shop, and they bought it at the gift shop, so I, I don't know, but it's really cute. It looks, like a, it looks like a head wrap, but it's really just a headband. It doesn't go all the way around. Okay, y'all ready to get started painting? Started painting? Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, I feel like there are so many announcements. Procreate courses on sale, number one. Number two is that we are taking deposits for the next Southern Adornments live event, and it's going to be in Destin in September 2023. Hometown. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Sandy. And um, guys, we are already at over 160 people signed up. Now, we originally were going to cap it and just say no more than 150. That's it. But we got to 150 like in the blink of an eye. And so I was like, okay, we'll go ahead and raise it to 200, but no more than 200. 200 is like is the most I'm comfortable with. And inevitably, I know some of you may still not be able to come as we get closer. And so that's why we're taking deposits. With the deposit, you put $100 down and you say, save my spot. You have until the end of the year, December 31st, if something comes up between now and then, to say, never mind, can I please have my $100 back? Uh, Mary Catherine, they're not sold out, but there are a little over 30 p p spot, thirty or 40 spots left, 30 spots left. Um, and so if between now and December you know that you can't come, you can get your $100 back. After December, we won't be able to give you your deposit back, but we won't require you to pay for the rest of your ticket if for some reason something comes up and you can't come. Brenda doesn't have to be part of the group. What are they asking? If you have to be a member? She's asking if she can join the group. There's not a group. You just click the link above. Oh, yeah. There's not a group to join for, are we talking about for the Procreate course? For or Destin. For Destin. We don't have a Facebook group yet for the Destin um, event. We will create one of those um, probably after the new year, after we start taking payments, more payments for the event. So you're putting your $100 down now. The ticket price is $597, but by grabbing your spot now, you're getting $150 off. So you're getting the early bird price of $447. You're putting $100 down, so really you'll only owe $347 more, and you don't even have to start paying on that until January, okay? So go grab your spot now if you want to come and join us in Destin. It's going to be a blast. All right, so I'm mixing up a color for this because I didn't have the exact color I wanted. So I took this color called Open Water. It's a little bit of a deeper blue, and I'm mixing some white with it. And we're going to do a base coat of this color. And then we're going to go back and paint, I think it needs a little bit more of this color. She's taking pictures for the blog, y'all. We like to make blog posts out of every project if we can. Um, Lauren said, Laura says, I wish I could go. I'm just not going to be able to. Oh, I hate to hear that. I would love to meet you, Laura. The Procreate class is on sale for 77 right now. So go sign up for it. Um, actually, if you're watching on TikTok, you'll have to come over here to Facebook to grab the link because the correct link is not in my TikTok profile, unfortunately. It's a separate, a different link. <laughs> okay, we're going to base coat the entire thing. This is a laser cut blank, so I'm painting right over these laser etched lines, and I'll still be able to see them through the paint later, so don't worry about that. If you end up buying one of our laser cut blanks um, in our shop, you can find this one at shopdoorhangers.com, 
It's called the Knitted Pumpkin. Um, you can paint right over those lines as well. I cut this one on my Thunder Laser. It's a Nova 24. If you don't have a laser cutter and you wanna cut out your own pumpkin, you can go ahead and get the template for this um, in, at shopdoorhangers.com as well. And you could trace it on wood or you could trace it on like a wooden round or even on a canvas would be cute. Shop, your oh, you want to see my shirt? This shirt's in the shop too. We um, we only have a couple sizes left. It says, I'm not messy, I'm creative, and it's got paint splattered all over it. We had several of them at the event in Dallas, and what was left, we came home and put it on the website. So we still have some of those on there as well if you want to grab one. Um, Pam says, I don't see the link on Facebook. We may have to drop it in the comments for them. Which link is she the, she's talking about the Procreate course link, I think. Pam, are you wanting the Procreate course link or are you wanting the Southern Adornments Live link? Maybe just copy and paste them both in the comments. Who knows? Sometimes it's hard to find the, the link up in the video, especially if you're watching on the Facebook watch tab because it hides all of that. And so then you kind of have to like tap on the screen to make all of that appear. And sometimes it feels frustrating because it won't just quickly pop up for me. <laughs> okay, Tiffany got the link. Yay! Yep, the shirt is from Cotton Chaos. She's the one who made them. And so if there's if, if you can't find the, your size over on our website, you can go to cottonchaos.com and they, they may have some left in your size over on their site. We just have the ones left over from Dallas in our, on our website. Just gonna, uh, we're just going to dry this, and then we'll do another quick coat of this color. This color is really nice. Like um, We started with the open water color, and I mixed it with white. So it created this really soft like country blue color, which I didn't think I had, but it is kind of reminding me of another color. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the baby blue, but it's got a hint of like turquoise in it. What are the dates for Destin Alma? They are September 29th and 30th, 2023. Hey Paula, good to see you. I can't wait to see you again in Destin. September feels so far away. That's like 14 months away, but you know what? That at least allows you to save up money, and um, that way you'll have, you know, money for hotel and for shopping at the vendor booths and doing extra fun stuff. And some of you guys may even want to, like, plan a girls' trip or a family vacation around it. Um, I've already heard of a couple people who are planning, like, a sister girls' trip to come and craft and hang out on the beach. And don't worry, we will, uh, we will plan time for you guys to be on the beach. We're not going to just be crafting all day um, throughout the day. I think, because in Destin, what we did was we painted and crafted from like nine to five each day inside the conference room. But I'm thinking in Destin, what we might do is split it up a little bit and like do a craft in the morning and then um, break for like lunch. That way you guys can have like a long, like four hour lunch to go to lunch and then go to the beach and enjoy the sun and then come back in the evenings and do a couple more crafts before and after dinner. Because you can't go to the beach and not actually be on the beach. <laughs> um, Tiffany says, how much are the tickets for Destin minus the $100 deposit? So, Tiffany, the t if you get put down your deposit now, you're getting the early bird price of $447. Minus the $100 would be $347 would be the remaining amount to pay. The event we're talking about is the Southern Adornments Live Show. It's going to be happening in Destin, September 29th and 30th of 2023. We just finished the 2022 show in, da in Dallas, and everybody had such a great time. They couldn't wait to buy their tickets to the next one, so we decided to just go ahead and sell them right away. That way, we, you know when it is, you know when to plan, and uh, that part's out of the way. All right, let's do um, the leafy part. I think I'm going to use this one. It's the Hauser Light Green. Is this one right here? <laughs> tourists are gone, snow bar birds aren't here yet, and school's back in session. So yeah, it's like the perfect time to go. And you know how I know that? Because I go to Destin myself every year in September. 
I always go with a group of girlfriends from high school and we go and the beach is pretty much all to ourselves. It's so nice. And it's not super, super hot. It's like just the perfect temperature that time of year. This color looks so pretty with this blue. The only problem with going to Destin in September is it's hurricane season. So y'all hope and pray, say some prayers <laughs> when it gets closer to time that there's no hurricanes the weekend that we're there. Because I have been to Destin on a weekend before when there's a hurricane and it's a lot of rain. Cynthia says, Dallas was awesome. I've already put in my deposit down, so I can't wait. And so did my sister. Yay, I'm glad your sister's coming. Nicole said, I live in Destin. Oh, Nicole, you're living the dream. <laughs> That's when all the locals start to go. Hmm, good to know. Show me the painting behind you. Symmetra wants to see this one. So this is the one that we're going to be teaching August 15th in our workshop. We're not taking sign-ups for it yet, but we will start probably later this week. So I'll come live and tell you more about that when it gets here. But you'll learn how to paint that one for $10. So I'm creating this one as kind of like a complimentary piece to that one. This one's going to go on my porch leaner. I need to make a matching porch robe, too. That would be cute. What are you flying to for Destin? Uh, I fly into the VPS airport. It's it's in Destin. That's where I always... And um, since I'm flying from Nashville, Nashville has a direct, a direct flight from Nashville to Destin that goes like twice a day, I think. Two or three times a day. <laughs> yes, you can have popsicles. How hard is it to ship your projects home? Um, Melissa... We had planned on having that as an option at this event, but it got kind of hairy trying to figure out whose stuff was whose and whatnot. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not, but I would like to be able to offer that as an option to people. We just need to figure out the logistics of how to keep track of everything a little better, I think. Some people went to the UPS store. There's oh, that's UPS a good idea. Adjacent in that complex. So when we were in Dallas, she said there was a UPS store right across like the street or something. And so people went down there and shipped it direct. So that's a good idea. I had even thought it would be neat if you could have somebody from the UPS store come for a couple of hours or something and set up kind of a, like a makeshift booth. Mm -hmm. So that might be something we could check into doing. So if we sign up for the class in August, do you send us all the stuff to make it fit? In August. Oh, for the workshop. So she's talking about the workshop that we're going to be doing August the 15th. We give you a supply list. It's $10. We give you a template that you can use to trace on the wood. And then you'll need to pick up your own paints, probably a paint pen, um, brushes, which if you're a crafter, you probably already have most of the things you need on hand. Um, the thing you probably won't have is the wooden round. So you would need a wooden round that's 18 inches, like the one behind me. And we actually have those in our shop on sale right now for, I think, $12. And so you can go and grab as many of those as you want. You can sit and paint with your friends or make multiples and sell them, whatever you want to do. Where's the link for Destin? It's up in the description for you. Okay, the color I used on the stem is called Sable Brown. Look how well these colors all, like, complement each other. On TikTok, it looks way more vibrant. I think there's a filter on or something, so sorry about that. Look at Lauren's post. What did Lauren say? Her bag was 46 and a half pounds. <laughs> hey, you were under the 50 mark, and I'm shocked because you had a lot of stuff that you were carrying home. So, that's awesome. Okay, next on this design, we need to start painting in, like, the areas that look like the sweater. So, what I'm going to do is kind of take the same color that we just mixed up which was the open water mixed with white. And I'm just gonna mix it lighter than I did the first time. So more white, less open water. And if you have some left in your paint palette when you go to do this, I didn't, I used it all. If you have some left, you could just add a little bit more white to it instead of adding more blue and make it lighter. Okay, and to test this, 
I'm gonna take and just dab a little bit on there and just look and see if that looks light enough. I think it does. Nene says, I attended my first live in Dallas. It was amazing. You and your family and helpers were so friendly. Oh, thank you. We appreciate the kind words. All right, so I'm gonna use, let's, let's try this. This is a little bitty filbert tip brush. It's a real small one. And we're gonna take our lighter blue color and we're just going to start with these little areas that kind of look like, um, they kind of look like little leaves or something. Here comes my son, what's up? Um, we're gonna go pick out the rooster. Could you make sure that they know that we're going um, down? No, I can't message Susan right now, I'm on a live. So okay. you can either wait till I get off or you can just show up down there and knock on their door. Those are the um, knit stitches. I wanna do that. All right, well then wait till I'm done. She, How long will that be? So, out. I don't know. An hour. Good grief. <laughs> she said these are called knit stitches. I don't knit, so I have no idea. Yeah, that's the knit stitch. But this is what we're doing here. We're, we're just, and I'm not freehanding this. If you look closely, you can see the lines in the wood, and I'm just painting. Whoops, sorry. Y'all can't see that. I'm just painting inside the lines. And we're using the same color, but we've added more white to make it a lighter shade. Don't go and pick another color in a separate bottle or it might not might not look as good on here. They might not jive. So I'm just painting all the little leaves first and then I'm gonna go down through here and do the, the little stem. And as this is drying, it's actually getting even lighter. So I may have to mix a little more white and do a second coat, we'll see. Do you teach people how to cut these on a laser? Um, I do have several videos showing how to use the laser machine um, to do that. You can find those over on my YouTube account. I have a Thunder Laser Nova 24. So if you're curious about that, you can go watch those videos. Okay. I'm going to dry this before I move on and see if it needs to be lighter because it looked really white while it was wet, but it's not. And while we're waiting for this dry, let's go ahead and do some happy mail. Tell me what is your favorite vacation spot? Mine is Destin, obviously. <laughs> um, but tell me what's your favorite vacation spot? Like what feels like paradise and a little bit of mix of home? Like you know how when you get that perfect vacation spot and you go there over and over and over again, it begins to feel like a home away from home? That's the way Destin feels to me. <laughs> okay, I feel like this needs a little more white because after it's dried, you can barely see the detail. And I do want it to be subtle, but I don't want it to be that subtle. So I'm gonna add a little more white and mix it again. A little bit more. Cancun, ooh, Ocean Isle, North Carolina, yes. Jill, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee feels like that for me too. It feels like a home away from home because I've been so many times in my life. For sure. Corey says mine is Destin. Corey's been to Destin with us several times. Seaside, that's a beautiful place too. Cocoa Beach, I've never been there. Maui, ooh, I've never been to Maui. I do love some Dollywood. <laughs> ooh, Sydney, Australia, I've always wanted to go there. You are giving me the travel bug again. All right, our happy mail winner is Jenny Valenzuela. Jenny Valenzuela. If you'll send us an email with your snail mail address, we'll send you some happy mail. And while I'm doing this, let me remind you, because I know we've probably had a lot of new viewers hop on, our Procreate course right now is on sale for $20 off. Normally it's $97, but you can get it for $77 this week. So if you've been wanting to learn to like draw your own door hangers, or maybe you just want to learn to like kind of plan out what colors you're going to use on the templates that you've bought in advance before you sit down to paint, you can learn how to do all of that in the Procreate course for $77. There's also a link up above for how to get your ticket for Dallas, or not Dallas, <laughs> for Destin for the Southern Adornments Live Event 2023. It's happening September 29th and 30th in Destin, Florida. 
If you put down $100 right now to save your spot, you get the early bird price of $447 minus the $100 you put down means you only owe $347 more and you don't have to start paying on that until January. And if something comes up between now and, and the end of the year, you can still get your $100 back on your deposit as long as you send us an email before December 31st. Okay, look how much brighter that looks. We've added a little bit more white. It's showing up a lot better. So now that I've done all of those little leaves, I'm gonna go back down through here and kind of add the little stem or stitch or whatever you call it that goes between them to connect them all. <laughs> and then there's another one of those little stems or like those little kind of spots. And it reminds me of like a cable knit sweater. So just kind of notice that I'm like keeping my elbow tucked close to my body and I'm just pulling the paintbrush toward my body by leaning back in my chair. My arm and everything is remaining static. It's not moving. So if you struggle with doing a nice smooth straight line like that, you've got to tuck your elbow in and just move your body. Let's do it again on this side and always pulling towards you, not, not side to side. With the Procreate course, do you have access to it for long? Yes. Yep, you have access to it forever. Okay, let's do some more of these little cable, what did you call them? Cable knit stitches? Cable? Yeah, what did you knit stitches? Knit stitches. Yeah. I have known nothing about knitting. Has anybody ever actually bought like a, or used an old sweater and put it over a pumpkin like this? I'm always curious if people actually ever do that. I know you can buy them in the store where they look like they're like that, but. <laughs> Too good a deal to pass up. Well, I'm glad that you're taking advantage of it. It's a it's a fun way to like uh, kind of make door hanger designs your own to sit and kind of tweak them and procreate or play with the color scheme a little bit. I used to just sit down and just start painting and I would just pick my colors from, you know, just on the fly and everything, which I kind of still pick the colors on the fly, but I at least have a picture to go off of because usually it's already been designed in Procreate and I will just look at the photo and try to pick a color that matches the photo. And that makes it so much easier because I at least kind of know how it's gonna turn out before I even sit down to paint it. Is it the same Procreate course that's in Clubhouse? Mm, there's not a Procreate course in Clubhouse. We do have some Procreate tips, tips and videos like that in Clubhouse, but it's definitely not the course. It's not the same thing. Yes, the round pumpkin pumpkin design you see behind me is one that we're going to be teaching August 15th. We'll start taking signups for that later in the week. Um, so keep an eye out for an email up, uh, from us about that. I'll also kind of go live and announcement, announce it. Um, it'll be $10 to sign up. You'll be able to paint that design along with me. All you're going to need is a paints, brushes, probably a, a paint pen, graphite paper, and an 18-inch wooden round which right now those are for sale in our shop for $12. Um, you can also usually catch them on sale at Hobby Lobby for about $12, but the ones at Hobby Lobby are the big thick ones. They're about like a three quarters to an inch thick. And that's a little heavy for a door in my opinion. So if you like that, go ahead and grab those at Hobby Lobby or you can get them on our site. It would be a great project to like paint and then you could do something else on the back if you wanted to. Something for fall and maybe something for Christmas. It would be a fun one also to sit down with friends or your sisters or something like that and paint. Now I'm just kind of going around the, the perimeter of the design with this color. Gina has used a sweater to cover a pumpkin. 
She has. Okay. We've got all of our sweater stitches. Look how cute. And now we just need to do um, some of our finishing touches on the on the original design, it also shows, and I forgot about this, some cute little like dots of paint down through here. So let's go ahead and add those. It's kind of in between here. So I'm just using the bottom side of my paintbrush as a dauber. I'm just spacing out little dots going down. You kind of have to dip after every dot, otherwise the dots aren't the same size. And let's see, they're also going down the other side right over here. <laughs> if you go, you're going to be put to work, Corey. Yep. You can't just flirt with all the ladies at the event. What brand of paintbrushes do you use? Um, so I have some in my shop. Um, if you want to grab some that are really good, the ones I'm using like right now, like this little blue one is, uh, from the deco art website and they're pretty good. Um, I also have some of the glitter brushes like these. We have a few of those in our shop as well, left over from the live event. Also have, uh, the leopard print one. I love that. Um, okay. Got that. Um, there was also just a little bit of a detail on the stitches, but we may have to do that with a paint pen. So let me see what color paint pens I have here. Mm -hmm. I don't think I necessarily have one that's the right color in those. Let me check these. Oh, here. One of these will work. Let's see what color this is. These are are Tistro paint pens and they are extra fine tips. So you kind of have to be careful when you're using these because the tip will splatter if you kind of like, if it catches a spot in the wood grain. Let's see, I need a, you got a sticky note, Aaliyah? Mm -hmm. I need something to practice on, make sure it's working. Okay, let me see how that looks. I feel like we need another color. That's not gonna work. Let's try this one. Kind of a, a turquoise sort of color. Oh, that's going to be too bold. All right, this may not work out like I thought it was going to. Is that the color I had a minute ago? Let's try this one. Get it primed and ready. I kind of like that one. This one is, uh, do they have names on them? I don't know if they have color names, but here's the color. Is it there on the back of the box? Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is called sky blue turquoise maybe. This may just be the turquoise color. It's a little on the bold side, but I think it'll be cute. So I'm gonna do that on the edges of this little Stitch. It's very fine. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. See how it's kind of accenting the shape of those stitches. The only problem is, is I forgot that's wet and I kind of dipped right in it. You have to be careful of your little dots that you put on there. This color's a little darker than probably what I would have picked, but I think it's gonna work okay. It's just going on my porch leaner sign. It doesn't have to be <coughs> exactly perfect. Do you have that box of paint pens in your shop? Uh, no, these paint pens you can find on Amazon. They are the Artistro Extra Fine Paint Paint Pens. This is what they look like if you wanna take a screenshot. They're in my Amazon favorites, I think. Jordan says, I love your shirt. I'm an art teacher. I feel like I need one similar to this. Uh, this one I got from Cotton Chaos. We have a few of them left in our shop at shopdoorhangers.com. If you want to go see if we have your size. If we don't have your size, you can also go to cottonchaos.com and see if they have your size left on their site. These were some we just had left from the event in Dallas that we put on there. 
if you end up getting a little bit of paint gunked up on the tip, just kind of wipe it off on a baby wipe and pump it again and keep going. Okay, it's real subtle, but you can see that it kind of accented the shape. Let me wipe this off before I put it up. You love the pumpkin. Thank you. Glad you like it. Okay, and then we need whoop, we need a darker green to do an accent on the leaf. I'm just going to use paint for that. We'll use this Hauser medium green. It's the darker shade to the Hauser light green. And we're just going to use a round tip brush. I'm just kind of I'm dipping it right out of the bottle there because I didn't need very much of it. Just kind of trace around the edge of the leaf. It doesn't have to be perfectly on the edge, just somewhat. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Tambra. Sounds kind of like my name. Okay, and then I need a darker shade of brown to accent the little stem on the top. Let's sneak in another happy mail. Sure, let's do one more happy mail because we're almost done. Um, let's see. If you could draw on Procreate, since our Procreate course is on sale for $20 off, if you could draw on Procreate, what would you design? Would you design tick stickers, t-shirts, door hangers, tumbler designs? Um, what else? There's all kinds of things. Stationery. Pretty much anything that you could create art for, or would you just do it for fun? Answer the question in the comments, and we'll pick one random person for Happy Mail. Can you use Procreate on a laptop, or do you have to have an iPad? You have to have an iPad. You can't use it even on like a, a regular tablet. It has to be an iPad. Um, for some reason, the Procreate app in the App Store only works with Apple devices. So... There's our pumpkin. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Nene says everything. <laughs> she would do everything. Is paint for relaxation? Yeah, you can totally paint for relaxation. It's I find it very ther therapeutic and relaxing. I always feel like my blood pressure slows down and I relax a little bit when I'm painting. Marianne said she would design t-shirts or door hangers. Ooh, Carolyn said fonts. I love fonts. That's a great idea, Carolyn. What I like to do in Procreate is I like to, to down, you know, I don't know if you know this, but you can download fonts to your Procreate. And I like to take certain fonts and tweak them a little bit. Like maybe add a swash or like a little fancy curly cue on a letter or something like that. There's a little like button in Procreate where after you put the text in, you can rasterize it, which makes it to where you can modify and play with it. And I like to, like, if the word is straight across, I like to, like, take the letters and kind of, you know, stagger them a little bit and move them around. And so um, it's just a lot of fun because it feels like you're taking something that's very stiff and very uniform and making it your own. Okay, our Happy Mail winner is Deb Luthy. Did I say her last name right? Luthy? Luthy? I don't know. Deb, you're our Happy Mail winner. So send us an email with your address. Why Vaughn would design t-shirts. And somebody on TikTok says, stickers or art for cute notepads. I'm a teacher, and those are things I love, love, love. I love me some school supplies, too, Allie. I love to go and shop the school supplies. All right, if y'all enjoyed this project and you want to make one yourself, go grab the knitted pumpkin template. If you want to trace it on a wooden round or cut your own, or go grab the wooden blank that will have the design laser etched on it like the one that I painted today. Um, and you can get it in, in 6, 8, 12, or 20 inch. This is a 12 inch, and it's going to go on my porch leaner. If you want to watch this video again, it's going to be on YouTube later today. Um, and again, if you want to take the Procreate course, it's $20 off right now. It's normally $97, but you can get it for $77. So go and sign up for that at the link in the uh, description up above. If you're on TikTok and you want to get the Procreate course, um, you'll probably need to click the link that's over here on Facebook or the one in YouTube because the one on TikTok isn't updated yet with the discount. Um, and then go grab your $100 deposit for the Southern Adornments Live event, and I'll see you in Destin. Bye, everyone.